Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mama's Chunks of Love. Today I want to talk about trying to conceive and things that I used that I thought were helpful. Um, it's also called TTCing, so I might use that occasionally during this video. Also my son is in the room today, so you might hear him playing with toys. So let's get started. Let's jump right into um, a little bit of my history. Um, and background. So I had always known that I wanted children, but I was on the depot shot for three years. And then from there I went to an IUD and I was on that for three years. And after, and I hadn't had a period during either one of those contraceptions. And that scared me a little bit because I knew I wanted to have kids and not having a period for so long was a little bit scary knowing that i you know, wasn't ovulating, I wasn't having a real period. So after I took out my IUD, I started the pill. Um, and that was something that I did for another, I don't know, year or so. And then when I met my husband, we knew that we wanted kids. So I started thinking about getting off birth control right away. So I was off birth control about six months before we started to try and conceive. And then I started taking my prenatal vitamins at about three months before we actually really started trying. So I just bought the generic Target prenatal vitamins, which they're not too expensive. They're just generic, as I said. So I don't know if they're anything super potent or you know, you can get whatever brand that you would like to get. The next thing that um, we used was something that I'd heard a lot of you other YouTubers talk about, which is the pre-seed. Um, and so it's supposed to help the little swimmers get past your cervix and up into your fallopian tubes and all those good places. So it does come with these handy little applicators and you can pick how much you want to put in there. Um, Sorry, he's playing with something. I didn't need a lot. Some women need more than others. It just depends upon your preference. Um, something else that I also used, I bought these off of Amazon, is these um, Easy Home um, ovulation strips. Sorry. And it comes with, I believe... 50 LH tests, which is for ovulation, and 20 HCG tests, which is for pregnancy test. So I used those, and I love them because I, just like everyone else, was super addicted to peeing on things and watching those lines pop up. So that was really, really fun for me. Um, then something else that I started using was my Diva Cup, and I... Um, just have it in this little bag but it's basically a little menstrual cup that you stick up there after you've done the baby dancing to keep all of the semen as close to your cervix as possible so they have less traveling um, so I think that's helpful I watched a butt ton of YouTube videos on trying to conceive and success stories and things that people use and I kind of combined everything together um, so the last thing, well, second to last thing that I used was this um, progesterone cream because I felt like I was having those moments where I'd look at the pregnancy test and go, I think I see a line. I think I see a line. And then I would text, test the next day and it would be gone. And I was like, maybe they're not sticking. Maybe the babies aren't staying. So I asked one of my friends about it who also had trouble conceiving and she used the progesterone cream. And then I ended up getting pregnant the third month of trying with my son. So he's now grabbing everything that I was showing you. So um, the last thing that I used that I absolutely loved is the Ovia app. I am dedicated to that app, let me tell you. Um, every time I am like, oh my god, my cervical mucus changed, or I'm spotting, my period's starting, like anything like that, I just started to really 
Sorry, he just is dumping everything everywhere. Nice armpit shot there. Um, so that was something that was really helpful for me to see when I was ovulating and if it was, you know, 90% going to ovulate or 100% you're ovulating. And then I would use the ovulation strips to confirm that. So I really knew. And then we'd baby dance two to three times around that. Um, and maybe twice on the day that um, the strip showed that I was ovulating. Um, oh, the other thing that I forgot is I use a basal temperature thermometer which I thought you can only buy these on Amazon so that's where I ordered mine mine's just little pink um, but they are different so make sure you get a basal temperature thermometer a regular thermometer won't track like your ovulation and stuff so um, but I fall I found them at Target Walmart I started seeing things that I had thought I could only get online I started seeing them everywhere so just know that you can get um, pre-seed basal thermometers I got my progesterone cream at Sprouts um, let's see I think that's pretty much everything that I used uh, it took me three months but when I started combining everything all together is when I when I got pregnant so that was the third month of using everything all together so um, Talk to your doctor before you start taking, you know, vitamins or any other weird things that you've heard on YouTube just to make sure that everything's okay for you and your body. And I wish you all luck because I know it's a hard journey and waiting um, for those lines to pop up is something that's really special. So I wish you all good luck. Keep watching um, for more videos. I think I'm going to do another one on trying to conceive and what I did differently for my second baby. So uh, I'm not pregnant yet, so we're working on it. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe, and I hope you all are doing great. Talk to you soon. Bye.